even after finishing all of those games, I'm still not very good. Uh, from Soft Legit told people how to access the DLC when it released. I've heard conflicting things about this so far. Like, I heard that there was, like, a little bit of a clue in the trailer from Wirespot. And he was like, can I tell you the clue? And I said, let's let's save it for now. And, like, maybe, maybe if I super-duper extra struggle, you can tell me, like, the beginning opening clue. But we're, we're, we're leaving the, all the clues off the table for a little while. Um, which is the main hurdle, blind playing it so late. Okay, well, you know, we'll try. We'll still try. Where, where's, where's, where's my friend? Wait, what? Hold on, my buddy isn't here. The good serpent. The serpent friend. Oh, I might have messed things up. Because this was so dark in the mod yesterday, I am... Um, I wanted to do one of the Golden Gates rather than messing around with mods and trying trying to like uh, trying to fix it while I was live on the stream. And now my other serpent's not here. I don't get it. I'm gonna try warping away somewhere else and then back. Maybe? I don't see this place on the list. It's because of reasons. Uh oh. Damn. So yeah, the only reason why I put down the the Lord Vessel that the that Frampt gave me was because the graphical mod that I was using was ruining my ability to see during this fight. And I think putting down Frampt's Lord Vessel maybe ruined things. Because last time there was another great serpent down here and he told me the truth. And uh, I joined his covenant and, and we were buddies. And he gave me like this uh, cool glove thing that allowed me to do this grapple attack. The same one as the uh, the soul guys outside. And he, he just isn't here. Damn. I was also saying yesterday that I thought he gave me like a different Lord Vessel. And um, I was like, oh no, I've put down the wrong Lord Vessel. But I'm not sure if I'm misremembering that or not. But certainly... Certainly, the guy wasn't there just now. So wait. Hold on. He said he was going to go away and never come back. Because I didn't side with him. But I also don't have the other guy either. So I've lost out on bo both serpents. If this is true. ruh -roh. The Abyss. This is where I want to be. Oh, no. I've, I've gone and ruined my save. I'll, f I'll fix it in New Game Plus. I'll fix it in post. It's awfully lonely down here without my, my serpent friend. I really liked his story, and I wanted to listen to his story again, with like having known bits of it and then concentrating and maybe thinking about what he had to say to me again. But yeah, they they both left me. They both betrayed me. Hello, Sly. So uh, yeah, I blame that graphical mod that I had to uninstall. That that was that was the fault of that. I'm going to get two more endurance because I'm trying to wear my, my full havel. And then um, hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that's enough. Here we go. Black iron. 
and we transcend into Havel's armor. We could still roll around even with the pig hat on. We've done it. We've got it all. So happy. So happy we beat the, the four kings as well. It's sad that um, Wreath or Kaith or which, whatever his name is, is not down here. I can't even like double check his name because he's just not here. But we will we will fix it in New Game Plus. Um, so we was working on more strength after that. Try and uh, be able to equip some of the big shields. Yeah, well, I don't have enough for Havel shield. Like I don't have the right amount of strength. I don't have the right amount of uh, carry weight. It's gonna it's gonna take a while. Thing weighs 26. It is good though. Look at that. Yum. But yeah, seeing as I don't have the strength either, and strength's gonna give me some, some damage, I hope. Let's go for the strength first. So I guess, um. I guess we're gonna try and fight Nito. We, we might try and go f full Havel. But I'm I'm Havel enough right now. I'm 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 quite Havel. So I think Tomb of the Giants is our is our closest one. I think I killed Nito last last time. Remember when I said I'd kill you last? I lied. Okay, we're gonna need the thing. Probably a mistake to put it on the shield slot, but we're gonna need the thing. Oh no, this is this bonfire and not the other one? Rats. I can't believe I completed this level completely in the dark with no lantern on the first playthrough. Because nobody dropped me a lantern. I found the, the the lantern weeks later. There we go. I got rid of him. Uh, that way doesn't go anywhere. We need to go this way a bit. Down and round and over and under. Yeah, I I every step I just took like a millimeter step. And then I listened to see if there were any uh, dog skeletons. And then took another millimeter eventually after five seconds. And I just, I stood in the dark and I panicked. So there's one more dog here. Man dog. Oh no, he's doing the flurry. I'm dead. The end. Ouch. I got McFlurried. Okay, take two. Wait, what? Oh. Well, no wonder the lands not work. I'm, I didn't save at the other place. I'm really bad at that. I swear in the other Dark Souls games, it, it kind of saves you at the location a bit more. Frequently, just for, for teleporting there or being near. Too many giants. <laughs> yeah, those those bone dogs. You you like blocking seems to be a fruitless endeavor. Like blocking does not seem to fix the problems. When they're doing that kind of rear up and then drop down attack. I think rolling out the way and just not being there is the only solution. I might just get good and parry it all. Oh man, Liza P was so difficult and Sakira was so difficult trying to get the timed parries with the starting health. Oh god. Well, Liza P with the starting health. Sakiro, I would never remain on the starting amount of defenses. I just, I can't even imagine that. People doing playthroughs with that. I don't even want to know if it's possible to defeat Sekiro with no upgrades. 
That's uh, that's too much knowledge for one man. Nobody tell me. I knew I knew my way to this bonfire after all the. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I might need to do that a little bit more carefully. <laughs> ah, Sekiro, the the DDR Souls games. I I beat it though. I kind of like I kind of defeated Sekiro twice almost. Uh, it was fun. It's gonna be a good playthrough when I get it back up there on 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 the. Did I still not save at the other place? Is there something wrong with me? I think there is. Uh, I've never checked, but I guarantee there is a no-level Sekiro playthrough. No! <laughs> Why? Who would do that? There's a guy who plays Sekiro blindfolded. No, no. I, I can't believe that. I can't... That doesn't fit in my head. It doesn't. The idea of it cannot exist. <laughs> I... No. 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 If I just put my fingers in my ears and say la 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 la, it, it can't get me. Okay, memory version. Memory version, if I sprint, then no one no one can stop me. I can get there before it deactivates for having too, too many enemies nearby. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Skills! Skills! This is the guy doing a blind run. <laughs> well, blind and blindfolded. They're, they're two very different things. Uh, I can't believe I got it. It's like total thumbs up for that one. But uh, yeah, I had someone actually um, show up on my my YouTube comments. I, g I did get a YouTube comment of a guy saying, you didn't do this blind, you can see. And I'm like, uh, I, this is how the people in my chat told me to label my video. It's, it's just like, what could I do? Damn it. I don't know. I think it was trying to be funny. I'm just going to take it on good faith that he was trying to be funny. Um, wait till you see the girl who plays games using a DDR gamepad. Isn't it DDR like the thing on the mats? Can you do it on a gamepad? That's weird. I thought Dance Dance Revolution was the thing on the, on, on the mats. And like the... I guess it's a controller if you buy a mat to stand on, yeah. Uh, false advertising, <laughs> yeah. I think, I, yeah, I think that's it. You're not blind, get out of here, Dean. Getting a bunny to hop on a DDR pad too. No way. A rabbit can play Dark Souls, that's so cool. Oh, what a view. Yeah, this is nice. This reminds me of, like, um, Bloodborne. When you're in, like, the main base on Bloodborne and you look out, you see something a little bit like this. I wonder if we can get a little bit closer. Oh, I don't need the lantern anymore. I don't know why I'm holding that out. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I, I bet that wouldn't be a very interesting level, because it's just, like, infinite... infinite trees and... Nothing. <laughs> uh, there's a paralyzed person who beat Dark Souls with his chin. Damn, what a hero. I, I, I couldn't beat Dark Souls with my chin. I can barely beat Dark Souls with, 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 with anything. Dark Souls... On, on the... Oh, damn. I didn't realize Dark Souls was a song to be played. But I guess it is. I think for this next bit, you can, like, rush through. And then dodge some bits. Or maybe you need to fight one more thing. I can't remember. I'm going to try and rush through. Yeah, and that guy ducks out of the way. These guys completely miss you, and then you're in the next room. 
I think there's a little bit of loot we can we can pick up on the floor in here. So I might try and like fight some of this. Uh yeah, big mouth villain who raided before. Uses his mouth and quad stick to play since he has HS MS. Plays from soft games and even games like Cuphead and Blasphemous. I think I tried the first bit of Cuphead with the with the guy that just, you know. He kept on getting upset with me all the time, and now we don't talk anymore. Like, he just kept getting upset over nothing. And, um, yeah, so I haven't I haven't seen too much Cuphead. Like, I think we looked at the tutorial bit, but there wasn't really too many enemies or anything. I don't know if it gets a lot different as the game goes on. Um, Blasphemous, I've not, I've not heard of that one. If it's good, we'll play it. I got, like, the, um... Discord and people are giving me a, a list of, of good games that released over the last 20 to 30 years and we're gonna we're just gonna go off and play all the games that people like leave on the discord in in the games to play section we well, like Bla blasphemous I think side scrolling souls like Metrovania I've never played a super Metroid game ever I, uh, I own the Hollow Knights, which is supposed to be like a, a Metroid. Um, and I played a game called Rocket Knight or Rocket Knight Adventures on the Mega Drive, which scrolls to the side. And Streets of Rage and Streets of Rage 2. Oh, and Streets of Rage 3. They scroll to the side. So, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully I have some kind of experience with something that will translate. Yeah, I never, I never, I never owned a Metroid game. I may have missed out. Maybe I should play all of them too. And I've never played Castlevania either. Um, I think I own like a more modern Castlevania game, but it might be like a Van Helsing game. I, I don't know. I own something on Steam that I brought and then never played because MMOs. Yeah, I'm hoping to crack out everything, like Mega Drive games, SNES games. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play everything. Everything everywhere. If it's good, it gets played. I don't care how many years we need to go back. I've played on consoles called like the ColecoVision and the Intellivision. We can go that far back too, if it's fun. <laughs> okay, I think we've made it to uh Nito. Who is obviously going to um hurt me but we'll see I remember you take full damage after dropping down off of here so I won't drink the potion first also it looks like I need to improve the last bonfire that we were at because I've only got 10 health flasks but I've done it with five so you know ow Hello, Nito. How you doing? I'm glad he didn't one-shot me right off the bat. That was nice of him. I thought he was doing that because I heard the scream, but then so hard to time the rolls. Ah, I hate it. I hate that attack. It's so difficult for me to time it. There's a scream and then there's like a question mark amount of time and then you've got a roll. I, I can't remember if blocking works, but I, I guess we'll see. Uh, at least that area isn't that dark during the fight, unlike the time you got here via the coffin. Yeah, that graphic mod, uh, that graphic mod was doing some things. It ruined my serpents. My, my elder serpents. So annoying. 
Why did I even try? The thing is, the performance is really nice on the remastered edition. I like it. I like the performance a lot. But now that I don't have that other graphic mod on... Maybe I should download another one. Um, now that I don't have that graphic mod on, I feel like the game looks a little bit worse than my modded Prepare to Die edition. Which is a little bit rough. Like, I've gone into the future of versions, but my graphics have gone down a little bit for it. <laughs> what is going on? I didn't even see this little guy last time. Maybe I was just chatting away and I, I missed him, but there he is. We got him. It's not a fair comparison, because my Prepare to Die edition is modded with like a, a really old 4K texture pack or a 2K texture pack or something or other. And then this is now just the base remastered version. Yeah, I used to have all these loading stutters whenever I traversed certain areas. And some of the traversal areas are inside the boss rooms. So my Prepare to Die edition was a little bit rough because I was lagging during certain bosses. And it's just like, uh oh, that's not good. That's not helping me out. But we still managed to beat it that way. Oh god, I'm on fire. And I didn't fix the bonfire. And I'm on fire again. I think I went down too much. I should have gone, like, up somewhere. Oops. Right, I'll, I'll fix the bonfires, become human. All the stuff. This is what the consumables are all about. So let's use one to be human that we need to sacrifice, and then two more for 20. Yeah. Yeah. I just had no idea about kindling. In the, in the first playthrough. I just saw this menu once, and it told me, oh, you can't do that because you're not human, and then I just gave up on it for the rest of the game. Never looked back. Never looked twice. I looked around all the levels like a hundred times, but I never looked at the menu twice. This is my floor. This is my brain. But if you can win anyway, all the better. So we got down, and we got a little bit of uh, left. Someone's uh, leg sticking through the floor. <laughs> uh, there we got some more right, and we're good. Didn't manage to aggro anyone. Awesome. Yeah, all, all consumables are wasted on me. I'm gonna die anyway. Why why use a consumable? I'm just gonna die and lose it. Okay, do I have everything equipped I want? What? Dark Dark Paladin Le Leroy? Ah, oh, okay. How you doing there, Leroy? How's things? How, how's the kids? Hey, then. Goodbye, Leroy. Uh, oh, he, he had... Oh, blood. Yuck. Retrieve remaining power of dark spirit. Sure. Humanity acquired. Oh. I didn't know that. And then pick up humanity. And gr grant and sanctus. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> I channeled my um my lies of P there and just went for the parry. I'm just like, you you you're gonna hit me with this kind of timing and I, I went for it. So let's let's see what let's see what those are. So one of them looked like a like his his mace. 
that was like Grant. I think the mace section's a little bit further down. Maybe I went past it. I must have gone past it already. Here we go. Um, requires 50 strongs and 30 explosions. My goodness. Scales A with explosions before you've even leveled it up. And, and B with muscle. It's got 130... Um, Hmm. White chocolate donuts, <laughs> I guess. Uh, a legendary weapon of the Way of the White. We heard about these guys earlier, but I can't remember in what context. It might have been the, like the cleric guys. Granted to an undead paladin long ago. Yay, paladins. Although video games these days get paladins so wrong. You're supposed to be a defender of the people. You're supposed to use your power to help and protect the people. But in World of Warcraft, it's like paladin attack two-hander... Yeah, kill everyone, and it's just, it's just so stupid. It's not right. I play Protection Paladin all, all the time, even in the original version of the game, when you shouldn't. That's what I did. Grant, granted. I like that. That's good. Yeah. Uh, this massive iron can only be lifted by those with inhuman strength, but it is blessed. Well, I'm, I'm kind of blessed. I'm blessed by viewers today. It's been incredible. And very effective against Agents of Dark. Cool. And then there was a shield. I'll look at it with the shield section. I can't remember what the shield was called. It's called like Sanctus. It's a cool name. I like that. I think you could have even have called the weapon Sanctus and that would have been fine. So uh, again, we need we need a lot of faith and just a little bit of strongs. Uh, it's got strike on it. A legendary weapon of the way of the white. Wait, shields or weapons? Well, I guess. You do have shield bash in, like, uh, Elden Ring and stuff. Uh, granted to an undead paladin long ago, so that bit's the same. Once blessed with the protection of a white flame, but its power is all but faded, so that it provides only slight HP recovery. Wow. So I remember in the first Dark Souls game, the Prepare to Die edition version, like, the, um, the tiny ring had its description that said it gave HP regen on the, um, on like the gift screen. And it's not true. It just gives you a flat amount of max hit points. So now it's fixed and it says a small increase of HP. I guess that shield maybe gives you some healing over time. Oh my god, it does. What about if I two-hand the weapon? I'm still regenerating health. Just for it being on my back. Well, that seems a little unfair. Huh. That's really in my favor. That's that's pretty cool. It, it looks nice as well. I love that. I I would have been a paladin for this playthrough because you know I like I'm I'm out here to protect the people and use my power to help people. But after playing Elden Ring as a paladin and having like 52 different buffs to cast before every single fight, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of sick of that. Because I died a lot. My god, Horaloo just absolutely swatted me so much out of the sky, off the floor, across the arena. He 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 didn't like me very much. Okay, so I probably need a shield that I can actually wield. And then we'll be then we'll be good again. I like this one though. I would definitely move into the territory of being able to equip this. Okay, we're good. Onwards to Nito, to death. I mean, literally, to death. It's who we're heading towards. Should man really defeat death? Probably not. You'd end up with uh, with some awful people that were just there forever. Huh. I guess you can't just head directly across. Oh, maybe if I rolled over there. Oop.
Oh, he still got me? Damn. I am a little bit worried about the falling damage here, whether it will kill me or not. Oh well, do or die. Oh god. Drink, drink, drink. And then get close to him. I don't think he does it if you get close to him. I think he does like a like a death wave and it kills all the skeletons. And knocks me over. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Do it. Do it. Do the death wave. I need saving from all your skeletons. He's got a gang. Oh no. Lucky roll. Cool. I'll take it. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. So. That didn't go well. I kind of. I think last time when I won, I was heading backwards around the room with him following me. But. You know, he wouldn't come forward. He was sitting there, like, lobbing fireballs and stuff, and it, it wasn't good. I just wanted him to chase me and just to be fighting the battle from one side. You know, I want to fight the battle from the front so that I can block things and not be enveloped in skeletons. Ah, well. We can, we can do it eventually. We just need to believe. Well, we need to believe and we need some, some coffee as well. Yeah, should have drunk that first. That didn't keep very warm, but never mind. Moving on. Probably better to go at this with full health, just in case somebody um, clips me with something mean. Maybe I can fall off this bit that I'm thinking of, though. If we go this way, after he chucks his next fireball. There we go. Ow. Oh. Damn. Well, same story again. Oh, did I die? <laughs> yep. I did. There we go. There's, there, there's a clip. <laughs> oh, man. Whoops. It's a good thing defeat doesn't bother me. We hammered... We hammered that out of me, like, the first time we played. Defeat is one step closer to all success. Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Gotta admit, that was the quickest boss fight ever. Yep. I also, um... At uh, Ornstein and Smo, we uh, we had that happen in the transition. Like I, I killed one of them, and it did an instant transmission to the to the next 
section and I got hit on the head and died. And we got to watch the whole cutscene and then I just fell over, dead. It was, it was great. Good times had by all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Smo just, just dropped the mallet on me and then I, I was gone. We used to some of the other bosses in some of the games where you can just like, oh, I'll just, uh, I'll just kill him. He'll do a scene transition. He'll get up with another health bar, but I'll be fine. And it doesn't work like that in Dark Souls One. You get hurt. Wow, a no hit, a run to the boss. Excellent. Favorite is when you go through a fog wall and get killed by the enemy following you on the other side. I've had that. We also had one of the enemies make it into a C's laboratory with us in the boss room. One of the crabs was in there. Clams, rather. Ow. Oh no. Oh, that's good. Wave of death, I think. Cool. A whale on him. Ow. I'm I'm almost poisoned. No, I'm almost toxic. That's terrible. Oh, it goes away quick enough. Oh, the skeleton missed the death wave? Lucky boy. Wail on him some more. Oh, skeleton dive. Hilarious. Death wave again. I don't know if it's called a death wave, but I'm calling it a death wave. It certainly kills all the boys. You missed. You missed again. Not that I'm complaining. Up, oh, here we go. Ow. But, okay. Ah, uh, so a lot of toxin. Nope. Nope. No thank you. Say no to drugs. Oh, his cloak shields him. It's a cool cloak though. Don't get me wrong. Oh my god! We got him! Hey! Unless he's gonna get up and have a couple more health bars like Frida. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. We got an achievies as well for beating him for the first time in this game. Cool. Uh, let's see, uh, yeah, the, the clams do that, yep. And uh, let's go, yeah. I can't remember if he's got like a bonfire down here. Ah, oh, yeah. So hyped that we're we're progressing through this. Maybe I am getting a little bit better at Dark Souls, just like a tiny bit. Not much, but I'm you know, I'm playing enough of it that it's sort of working. Let's relight the fire. So um yeah. Other than getting the the bits, I don't think there's anything else to do down here. Yeah, we're doing we're we're doing good. A little bit stuck on seed yesterday, oh man. But still, I found out the strategy of just like hitting him from in the corner and him not being able to really strike you back. Kinda, it kinda was 
it was eye-opening that he can be defeated by such a strategy. Okay, we've got some more, more strongs. Very satisfied with the additional strongs. I think we're heading on down to uh, to hell. Uh, watch the guy die 42 times to bell gargoyles. I think I must have died a lot to the gargoyles on my first go through. Had my trusty hand axe. It was it was good though. It was fun. On that first day though, I had a guy. Um, you know, every every couple of seconds he would spoil some information about the game. I was sitting there and I was I was pumping intelligence like crazy on my pyromancer because wizards do more damage with more int. This is a fact from every other game. And he was, I, I, I kept on telling him, you know, stop, st stop, stop telling me stuff. But he, he wouldn't stop. Like every couple of seconds, it would be a new thing that was just like, oh, by the way, this, oh, by the way, this. And I was like, oh, no. That's when I wrote my new note at the bottom of the screen. It's been there ever since. I guess we want to go to Daughter of Chaos as, as a nearby warp. That's very nearby. Oh, hey there, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it's just I I didn't want to ban him off of the channel because I don't know. Like one of my first few viewers on there, and it's just it was it was it was tough. I'm not much of a banning people's guy. I'm, I'm quite calm and relaxed. I I am, but then then we then on day two, on day two the clouds parted and I I got wire spot in as a moderator and I was just like this guy this guy will handle everybody and he did <laughs> never again was I really plagued by by a big wave of people spoiling stuff just if there's anything that looks even mildly like an advert from someone why spots got them they're gone they're out of here It's very cool. It's very cool to have someone have you back like that. So even though I've got like another save point a little bit further down, you can't warp to that one. I really do love Elden Ring later on when you can just like warp everywhere all the time for everything. But I understand like it took a, took a while to get to exactly where we are with Elden Ring. And some things they kept and some things they didn't keep. Huge spoiler, if you attack things, they might die. Now, that, that's nice. I like that one. Um, Jessica will often come in with one of those. Like, spoiler, it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's just like, you know, it's perfect. That's the perfect spoiler. I can't believe this guy used to be a boss. Killed him super quick on both of my playthroughs. I think it took me like two tr Whoa. This is new. <laughs> yeah, we are the boss now. The boss can also be the friends you make along the way. Um Um that that kinda looked like a ca Oh. Oh oh it's an ultra large grave sword, okay. So it's it requires forty strength, so I'm still not even there yet. It's got six hundred durability. You hate the Capra Demon? I, he, I, I hate the dog next to the Capra Demon. That's who I hate. <laughs> Capra Demon himself is is I. So it doesn't give any strength, uh, no, it doesn't give any deck scaling, rather. This is good. Uh, uh hmm. Weighs 18. Yikes. Attack type regular. A regular and thrust and slash. What is a regular attack? That's really odd. That's a really odd way to describe an attack. Um, yeah, being close space with two dogs is tough the first time around. Yeah, I, th I can't believe I got him on like my second go. That was amazing. Uh, Capra took me 15 or more tries the first time I played back in 2011. This game's from 2011? Damn. It's good though. Like, you could release this tomorrow and it would still hold up. That's what I love about this. FromSoft can make some games. The lesser Capra demons use these greatsword in pairs. The blade is... Can I use them in pairs? I wonder if I... 
I think I tried to dual wield in this and it didn't work. Um, the blade is cast iron and hooked. For a second there, I almost read out cooked, but it, it's not, it's hooked. The sword is imbued with no particular magic, but for those who have the strength, its great weight will smash foes mercilessly. Oh, the heavy attack's interesting. Yep. Wow, that takes a lot of my uh, bar to do the heavy attack. I, I just wonder if, like, two in a row has a, a different animation. No. Do a little hippity hop. Let's have a look at the, the light attack one more time. So that seems to be the same on, on all the uh, ultra-large. But then the, the heavy attack is different. It's nice. I don't need the torch anymore. Ah, uh, too, too heavy for the Zway. L little bit too heavy for the Zway. Let's get, let's, let's get Quilag's leg back. And uh, get to that next bonfire. Which we already have, but we're just not allowed to walk to. Oh my god, no! Why? <laughs> what? Who put that hole there? There's, there needs to be a banister. We need to get safety and regulations down here to make this a, like a much safer work work environment. It's not me getting too cocky. I just wanted I just wanted to move to the next area. Come on, this is unfair. Who put that hole there? Maybe I'm getting better at Dark Souls. Oh right, yeah, okay. I did invite I did invite catastrophe. This, why, why did I invite Catastrophe? Oh well. What about if I edit it out on YouTube? Nah, 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 nah. I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> I played myself, yeah. I guess I did. Sudden impromptu two-handing. There you go. There's the cockiness. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk on the inside track. It's the only way to be safe in this this hellscape. So there you go. Hell is a lack of engineering and safety. That's it. Yeah. I never thought I'd be um, attacking people with a spider leg, because I can't stand spiders. They're nasty. They're aliens. Um, but here it is, and it's it's going well. Did I? Yeah, I I, I improved this save point. Fifteen, fifteen flaskies. That'll be fine. Are you a are you a real one? No? Okay. Gotta be careful about these statues. Some of them just pretending. Yeah, this guy. I guess he's made of clay. He doesn't mind being uh, cooked and killed. Still generally pretty easy, though. So far. Just need big stamina bar. Uh oh. Wait, these ones don't die forever if you kill them? Interesting. Ah, I stack it. Cool. He turned to look at me. If I go back, would he would he turn back the other way? No. He's just wondering who it is walking along. Oh, I'm not getting near that thing. 
I've broken my, my armor too many times upon him. In my other playthrough. Chop, chop, chop. So we uh, we have the uh, the chest over there, and I'm not going back to finish off all the all the armor melters. See, so yeah, I had um, I had like loading lag whenever I walked here on the prepare to die edition, and I think I've gone back and fixed what was wrong with it. But uh, yeah, that was pretty awful. I don't think there's anything too interesting down this way until I unlock the door on the other side past the uh, Titanite devil. Let's um, let's have a bit of a look around. But if, if I jump you, will I fall off and and look silly? I, I will. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try that. I've had enough of falling off of things. But then if I don't do that, how will I get the thing? There's no way up the other side. Damn. Yeah, I really, I, I just think there's a load of grasshoppers down here, and that's that's it. Demon grasshoppers, of course. Yeah. Meh. I guess I'll try the jump, and then if I make a mistake, that'll just be that. Yep. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Great. Souls. Nope! <laughs> well, that's that then. Okay, let's hope this guy doesn't give me too much trouble. He didn't last time, so maybe it's... Maybe it's his turn to be difficult for me in this playthrough. Oh, wow! He didn't get me with a sideways slash. Ah, now he did. Ow. Safety drink. He's got one move, one move only. He's just doing, just doing the move. Yeah, I can't believe like fire's dealing so much damage to him. I wouldn't have thought it would. Yeah, even you know, 
They're not even resistant against the spell versions. No, stop doing that spell. I don't like that spell. Yeah. No. Oh. Damn. I almost regretted, like, trying to look in my spell library for, for things that you might not like. Humanity and a demon's catalyst. We don't need that. We're not a wizard. Catalyst is for, for spell guys. So there we go. He gets the thumbs up regardless of him being a little bit strange to fight there. Like, I, I kind of wish they'd put a different boss there. Because he's just the same as the other bosses. That are that tight. Yeah, exactly. He's certainly one of the bosses of all time. This is, that's exactly how I feel about him. Like, why isn't there something exclusive there? Not just, like, a recolor? Like... We, we do a lot of MMOs, like I, I said, and it's just like, it's very strange when developers are doing a, a new monster design and they're all like, well, a new monster design would be kind of difficult and it would take some effort and it would take some skill. Why don't we just recolor one of the monsters we've already got? And then you just, <laughs> that's what you end up with. There we go, 31 strongs. Muscle lad. It's one of my uh, peeves of Elden Ring. Yeah, I um, I heard that before we started Elden Ring that that was going to be like quite an annoyance, or it was for a lot of the people that played it before I got there. And um, I didn't actually have as much of a problem with it because quite often when uh, the same guy would show up again in Elden Ring, he would have three. Up to three new moves. And he'd be carrying something different. Like there's this uh there's this guy that's one of the, the red beast men that's like a demi human. And this one time he's carrying this golden sword of the gods. And I'm just like, wow, that's awesome. He looks a bit different. And then I got into the fight and he was like, whoa, he uses a lot of different skills. He is not the same as all the other versions of him. And then he would use one of the classic skills, and it was just like, oh, this is cool. It's like nostalgic of fighting the original version of him, and he does have some of those skills, but really he's got his whole new library of stuff, and that's awesome too. So I had a lot of fun with Elden Ring. I thought Elden Ring was great. Uh, did you know the, the the meme of the three dragons? I'm related to Dark Souls. Don't worry. We've got the three demons. Stray demon. Fire Sage demon. And are the cool dragons. And then we have the asylum demon. The derp. Z oh man, I feel like I, I, I should find out like the rest of this backstory. Is, is there this rule of uh, three in, in lots of different things? <laughs> or is it just in, in this case, it's kind of interesting. I do like to learn about new stuff, but if it's going to come up in a game, we've got we've to play the game that it's about as well. Right, we should go over here and have a chat with everyone and maybe try and hand in like another ten humanities, if I've still got humanities. Oh, you don't know. Okay. We'll have a look around in every video game ever and see if we can find it. See where it originated from. Yeah, so if we use um, 10 of these and hand them over to her, I wonder if she'll rank us up again. Like, I still don't know what this stuff does, but I'm a plus one Chaos Servant. She seems to want 10 at a time, so I'm just going to give her another 10. Yeah, this could be a big mistake. I don't know what this does, and we'll, we'll, we'll only find out by doing it. So let's go. Here, have ten more. Boom. 